Hello everyone, happy Monday. Welcome to another week of social distancing, another week of figuring it out one day at a time, and another week of original, fresh, spot at home digital content. Today is Monday game day. If you remember last week, I challenged you with the impossible shot and a marble maze. And I said, or I hinted at, that the winner might get a prize. Well, that prize is going to be a free Norski. <laughs> for the family that wins. That's right, the winner gets a free Norski. Now we've already got a few great ones so far, like this one. Hey Nate, how's life? I don't know, it's all right. I've been dealing with some things like thinking maybe I should move out, you know, pack my car, take a new route. But we wanna see more, we wanna see your videos. So if you want to win the free Norski, we are going to extend the deadline until next week, and all you need to do is post a video of your impossible shot, post it to Instagram or Facebook with the hashtag Spofford at home, and let us see what you got. We'll choose a winner next week, and we'll also announce that on Instagram and Facebook. But this week, we are going to play something a little different. We are doing Jeopardy. That's right, Camp Spofford themed Jeopardy. So here's how it will work. So on our website, right underneath the video link, will be places to download the PowerPoint presentation. Now in order for this to work right, you need to have PowerPoint or Google Slides. You have Google Slides if you have a Gmail, and Gmails are free to make. So if you don't have either of them right now, you could always make a fake Gmail account and use Google Slides just for today. But either way, if you try to download it as pictures or a PDF, then you're gonna lose the functionality of the game, unfortunately. Sorry, couldn't figure it out another way. So, go to our website and download that game. And here's how it works once you're in it. When you're ready to play, simply go into presenter view and start the slideshow from the beginning. You will advance by either clicking anywhere on the screen or these arrows in the bottom left hand corner and just progress all the way through the slideshow until you get to our home page. And this is like the Jeopardy home page, you just choose the category and the amount that you want to play. And all you do is click on that link. That will take you to the question. And as soon as you are ready for the answer, to go ahead and click again, or go to the click response button, and you can view the answer. Now, as soon as that question is done, click that home button. The home button will take you right back to the category page, and you can keep on playing. So keep playing until all the questions are gone, and once all the questions are gone, then you can move on to Final Jeopardy. Final Jeopardy will bring you to the last question, and if you forget how Final Jeopardy works, you will accumulate points as you go along, and by the way, the game does not automatically keep your points, so you have to keep your points separately. But once you get to Final Jeopardy, you can wager any amount of points that you want. So if your team has a thousand points, which I really hope you have more than a thousand points, you can wager up to a thousand points. If you get the question right, you double your score. And if you get it wrong, you lose the amount of points you wagered. But that's the fun of the game. And of course, after Final Jeopardy, whoever has the most points, you win. So a few helpful tips here. Um, when playing in a big group like this, over 15, 20 people, if you have that size that you're playing with, then you can divide up into more than two teams. You can divide up into four teams. I'd suggest not more than four or five. That just makes it a little too crazy. Um, but have multiple people on a team and then just designate one person from your team for each question so only one is answering at a time. Ideally though, you want to designate one host so they can download the game and set it up because that host might see some of the questions and answers and you don't want one team having an unfair advantage. And that means the host can also ask the questions, officiate, and be an unbiased party. But if you're playing with two people, that's totally okay. You don't need a host. Just do your best to download and set up the PowerPoint without seeing any of the questions first. So that's it for this week. Go play some Jeopardy. Let us know what you think. And again, post some pictures or videos of you playing. We miss you dearly. We wanna see what's going on back at home for you. Share your life with us and the rest of the Spofford family so we can stay connected. And hopefully it will not be long before summer and we can hang out on the beach together, have some coffee, and celebrate. That's it for Spofford at Home. 
God bless you all. Go play some Jeopardy. Have fun, and we'll see you next time.